I felt too dumb for academic medicine studies because my brain was not working. Let's talk about the three alarming signs for vitamin B12 deficiency. Also going to talk about the symptoms. And this is literally what I've been experiencing almost all my life. This video is for you if you've done recently a vitamin B12 test or you're vegan and now you're wondering, oh my God, what's up? Am I really B12 deficient? Do I need to do something about it? Let's get started with number three. I remember when I was still stealing, still stealing, still dealing with massive allergies, which started around when I was five and peaked really when I was in university about 24, it just got worse and worse. And I would get sick so easily. I felt super fragile. My whole system was stressed out and my adrenals were on fire. I was constantly in this fight and flight mode and had this physical sensation that something was wrong. Already when waking up, I felt this inner anxiety. Low immunity and low stress tolerance is one of the major symptoms for vitamin B12 deficiency and also a symptom that you can improve if you get enough of the good B12, which we're gonna talk about in the bonus tip, my three mistakes when supplying B12. This is super, super important, so don't miss that. Second alarming symptom for B12 deficiency that was actually the reason why I had to quit university. After four years of studying, my parents and my grandpa did not like that. I felt too dumb for academic medicine studies because my brain was not working. And I thought it's me. I didn't know that B12 deficiency actually was one of the major reasons for my brain fog that I had, short-term memory problems, long-term memory problems, this constant feeling of, oh my God, I can't anymore. This physical anxiety and early signs of depression. I want to get out of bed. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't move. Warning sign number two, impaired brain health and this mental exhaustion is a major warning sign for B12 deficiency. Let's get to number one, which probably is the most subtle of all because it builds up over time, but it's so common with vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms. Looking back, honestly, I don't know how I made it into medicine and how I stick with that for four years. It's really hard and it's super competitive. Apart from the, the symptoms of anxiety, mental exhaustion, that I felt stressed out, I couldn't remember things, I also felt tired. I still remember I had these Sundays and I was sleeping 12 hours or more. I could sleep the whole Sunday and I would still wake up on Monday. I felt, oh my God, I can't move. I'm so tired. I don't remember ever having this feeling of feeling energized and ready for the day and let's get on. And by the way, at that time I was not vegan. Before you jump right now and like, okay, this is me. I might, I need to buy B12 supplements, get B12 injections. Wait, 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 wait. Here is the bonus tip. The three biggest mistakes you need to avoid when looking into B12 supplements. B12 tests are not reliable. Don't trust any type of B12 tests, especially not blood tests. You know, oh, everything's fine in my blood test. It doesn't mean that the B12 that is in your bloodstream you know, if you eat a lot of meat, for example, it's actually absorbed into the cell. It can be still severely deficient in your neurological system, in your digestive system, in your liver, even if you have a perfect or even high B12 result. Number two, I would love to just print this out and shout it out into the world. B12 injections are B-A-D, bad. Extremely invasive, like all the other injections that you do for your body, unless it's an emergency. If you have an anaphylactic shock and you need adrenaline, do it, but that's not B12. These injections and most B12 supplements do not contain a bioavailable form of B12. They're often tablet form or liquid, and then they inject you cyanocobalamin. This synthetic form of the B12, in the best case scenario, is just getting excreted through your bloodstream. In the worst case scenario, it's causing liver damage, it's causing damage to your adrenals. So you want to avoid buying into and paying for those kind of treatments. Number one, my personal favorite, eat more meat, eat more oysters, eat more liver meat, organ meat, eggs. B12 is personal. It's personalized for your body. Every animal has its own B12. It synthesizes its own B12 through microorganisms that are specific to that organism. So if you have a BMW and you try to put the motor of a BMW into a Hyundai, it's not gonna work. Just eating more organ meat, yes, you have more B12 
swimming around in your bloodstream that you eat but your body is not absorbing it your liver is still deficient your brain is still tired because of this b12 deficiency the last sentence don't want to make this too long what's the best thing to do if you have signs of b12 deficiency elevated stress levels in your life if you have a chronic disease heart issues low stomach acid da 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 da, da. you want to supplement with adenosyl and methylcobalamin which are two forms very specific bioavailable body friendly human friendly forms of b12 and you also want to support your microorganism that anthony williams medical medium for example calls elevated biotics you want to restore them the easiest way to restore them is to actually come with me eat oops, eat stuff like that eat from the tree those on the surface of these fruits for example and of any living organism you have elevated biotics and those elevated biotics they are producing the b12 that is for your body 